Hi, everybody. I'm Joel Simmons for another two-minute Turf Talk. We've spent some time on the Turf Talk talking about limestone or calcium carbonate. Today, I want to talk about calcium sulfate or gypsum. Take a look at this soil sample. On number four and five, you can see very large calcium deficiencies. And when I ask students in the Soil First Academy, what's the best type of calcium material to apply on a deficiency that large, I often get the answer gypsum. In fact, that's not going to work effectively with a deficiency that is that large. In a deficiency of this size, only limestone is really going to work effectively to saturate the need of calcium in that soil and to flocculate that soil, opening it up, making it work better. But look at number three. Here we have a deficiency of only 110 pounds and a base saturation that is above 60%. Gypsum works best when the base saturation reaches 60% or higher and the deficiency of calcium is less. So in this case, putting down 10 to 25 pounds per thousand square feet of gypsum can be very effective in helping to flocculate, open up that soil and provide available calcium to the plant. Take a look at the calcium pyramid. If you think of calcium in terms of its availability, the limestone material is at the base of the pyramid. As you move up, you get more availability, and gypsum falls right in that middle as a granular that is somewhat soluble. And as you get to the pinnacle of the pyramid, you're going to want to use a liquid calcium product like the Earthworks Calvantage. Now, if you have a large calcium deficiency, limestone is going to be required, but the calcium is not going to be available for up to three years. So using a combination of that limestone to satisfy the deficiency a little bit of gypsum on top of that to provide some sustainable, soluble calcium, and then spraying the turf with Calvantage is going to assure that the plant is getting what it needs and the soil is getting what it needs as well.